Hello everyone and welcome back to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Review. So today I'm going to show you five bottles that are better in blends. So for all you horsey top lovers out there who wait outside for three to four hours in hopes that your name is called just to win a bottle with the little horsey on top and the letter you may be looking for, this video may not be for you. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back. So the first bottle I'm going to show you that's better in Blanton's is Wild Turkey's own Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. These 110 proof non-chill filter single barrels can go toe to toe with Blanton's any day of the week. and can be found on most shelves anywhere between $40 to $60. Uh, something else that's actually very unique about the Russell's Reserve Single Barrel picks is they can be pulled from different warehouses. They can be pulled from Warehouse K, Warehouse D, the Tyrone Warehouses, the Cam Nelson Warehouses. And something that you're going to find throughout each and every one of those warehouses is the consistency throughout those bottles. Uh, if you don't believe me, pour the Russell's or a single barrel head to head in a blind tasting with Blanton's and you tell me who will come out the winner. So the second bottle that's better than Blanton's staying in the wild turkey family is the Rare Breed. Uh, released in 1991, this bold and spicy barrel proof bourbon blows the horsey top single barrel bourbon away. This is honestly a bottle that I would recommend that each and every whiskey lover have in their collection. The batches seem to be getting better and better with time, whereas the Blanton single barrels, well, they stay the same. So next time you're in your local store, look for a bottle of Rare Breed. You can find one of them ranging anywhere between $45 to $60. And I can promise you, you won't have to wait outside for three hours for your name to be called. And it's not allocated. So the third bottle that's better than blends is the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength Bourbon. So from Jim Rutledge to Brent Elliott to the 10 different recipes that Four Roses has to offer, I can promise you there's a recipe out there for each and every whiskey lover. Um, one of the things that actually makes those recipes unique is you can find one that has uh, a delicate fruity flavor. You can find one that's spicy and floral. You can find one that is minty and full bodied and so on and so on. Now I've tried the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strengths in a blind, uh, a big blind, and Blanton's was in the mix. And I can tell you, proof aside, there's way more flavor in any one of those 10 recipes than there is in Blanton's, okay? So next time you're out at your local store and you have that bottle of Blanton's in your hand, smash it on the ground, pick up a bottle of the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength Bourbon. I can promise you there is way more flavor in one of these bottles than Blanton's will ever have. Uh, you can find these bottles ranging anywhere between $55 to $70. So the fourth bottle that's better than Blanton's is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Tennessee Whiskey. How these two bottles are the same price blows my mind. Uh, these range anywhere between 126 to 135 proof and can be found in almost every market. Uh, this is one of the most underrated single barrel barrel proofs on the market, hands down. So when you horsey top collectors are out there crying because you can't find a letter to complete your set, I'll be sipping away on something that has some real flavor to it. You can find these anywhere in your market ranging between $55 to $70 and they're not allocated. So the fifth bottle and last but not least is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Released three times a year in their batches A, B, and C, these are some of the best barrel proofs on the market. No way in hell would I pay $50 to $75 for a bottle of Blanton's when I can buy a bottle of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. These are consistently, consistently good. They pack tons of big, bold flavors. And again, there's three separate batches that you get to try throughout the year that are all different. And you just can't say that about Blanton's single barrels. So next time you're in your store and you have that bottle of Blanton's, give it to that crybaby outside who wants that special little horsey topper and keep your bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I can promise you, you will not be disappointed. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews and the five bottles that are butter and Blanton's. So all you horsey top collecting crybabies, go ahead and ride off into the sunset, back to your happy place, and leave these bottles for the real bourbon drinkers. So if you're looking for reviews of bourbons, rise, or some of those dusties, Hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dance Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys, stay dusty.